hope everyone's having a great day. It is time already to shop my stash for the month of March, which I'm excited about. I'm ready to put some of these things away and pull out some more spring tone colors, maybe. It's definitely not spring yet. But, you know, we can hope. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start putting away some of these items so I can put away my Reboot Foundation. I really, really enjoy this foundation. And it just kills me that Makeup Forever has um, discontinued this. But anyway, I but I really do enjoy having this in my collection. But I can put it away for now. This one from Estee Lauder, Lauder. This is the classic double wear foundation. I'm going to put this away and try this again in the summertime. It was a little too heavy for my drier skin in the wintertime. These are Project Pan items. I'm going to put away this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This was the shade Seductress. I'm also going to put away my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This one's in Vanilla Beige. Really, really enjoy pulling out this one from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine, broken cap and all, <laughs> but whatever, the formula is still really good. This is the shade Ecstatic, and it's a amazing, like, dark cherry color. Ah, the word I'm looking for is black cherry. <laughs> like, why isn't dark cherry working? Black cherry. Really pretty um, sheer lip balm. I do really enjoy this product from L'Oreal. This is their Balm in Gloss in the shade Rose Harmony. Also, this one from Euphoria. It's a fun shade. This is the shade uh, 3AM. I'm ready to put this away as well. I really enjoy having this lipstick out from Lisa Eldridge. This is Painterly, which, oh yeah, so into that color. And also my lipstick from Gucci. This was new and so I was testing this. This is the uh, Balm lipstick in the shade Esther Rosewood, which looks like that. Beautiful. All right, adjusting the camera a little. Oh wait, no, first. Uh, lip liners. So I really like actually this shade from ColourPop. I tried to pan this and gave up on this last year, I think. This is the shade Ashton and I decided not to pan it because it's just a really, really hard color to wear every day. It's not something that I could wear all year round, I should say. This is more of like a super cool toned um, contour shade, but this time of year I do enjoy wearing it, so I enjoyed reaching for that. And also my M Cosmetics lip liner. This is the shade Kitten which I was like having a more warm toned one out as well. So that can go back. All right, everything else that's out up here is Project Pan stuff. So moving on to a different drawer. Okay, here I have highlighters I have pulled out. This one is my Project Pan highlighter, but I did use this one from Rare Beauty so I can put this away. I love this formula so much. I have the pink one and it is absolutely just delightful but i can put it away for now i had a little bit of trouble reaching for this one from mac this is the shade beaming blush and it just wants to show up so gold on me it has like a lilac undertone and it flashes gold so i don't know this may be more one i wear in the summer or in the fall i did try to wear it once though so i'm gonna put it away and then i really like this one from laura geller this is french poodle and french almond french almond is way too dark for me but i really like french poodle as a barely there highlight. Absolutely lovely. That's gonna go back in the stash. Moving on to all these blushes. I think everything in here I can put away. I wore this one several times. I was really into this. This is from Merit. This is the shade Beverly Hills. So yes, I think everything in here is gonna get put away from Bobbi Brown. This is the highlighter in Sunset Glow. Gorgeous glowy blush. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the Stick Blush in a Latte. Oops, it has a little brush on the end and you can never tell which end you're supposed to open. <laughs> Here we go, Latte. My little sample size from Ilia of the Multi Stick in the shade At Last. Honest Beauty Lush Lilac, so pretty. Benefit Dandelion. RMS Maiden's Blush, Honest Beauty Rose Pink, I wore this one quite a bit as well, Classic Favorite, Phytosurgence, Inferno, and this Milani Cream Blush Palette. Awesome, I'm very excited to pick out all new blushes. While I'm here, I wanna show you too all these cream shadows. I had pulled out a ton of cream shadows to use last time. So this was Hourglass Smoke, I used it. So if I used it, it's gonna get put away. Also Tom Ford, 
Can someone please tell me how that's supposed to be pronounced? All I can think of that is like opal. Opal. Tell me, how is that supposed to be pronounced? Also, Victoria Beckham tea rose, honey, and mink. Okay, last time I think I pulled out a few too many palettes, but the ones that I did use, I'm gonna put away. So my Kaleidos Cold Brew Quad. Oh my goodness. I fall in love with this every time that I use it. I love, love, love the mattes in here. The shimmer shade is really intense and very beautiful, but I think that the mattes are just fantastic. And I was really happy with this as well. <laughs> oh, this is one that, again, I just enjoy uh, more every single time I use it. I really like that one. If you're looking for these types of tones but um, that are not too pigmented, you might enjoy this one because the tones are just not super pigmented in this palette. It makes it really easy to use. I'm also going to put away this face palette from Benefit. Uh-oh, my camera started to fall over. This is the one that looks like this. I think I only reached for Hoola, Sugar Bomb, and then the Cookie Highlighter. I didn't reach for these two over here, but that's all right. Next time, maybe. Palettes that are going to stay out. So a friend of mine gave me this cute little quad from Nomad. This is the Nomad Malibu quad. And I have not tested this yet. I'm actually really interested to see how this color translates on the eye. So I'm interested to try this. Thank you again so much to my friend. I also had the Lorac palette, the Lorac Noir palette pulled out last time. And I'm just not done with this yet. I only reached for it once or twice and there's just so many beautiful shades in this. I want to continue reaching for it. So I'm going to leave this out. And this is actually a palette that I purchased from Pat McGrath. Uh, I believe it was the beginning of January. This is the second mothership. The the I think this is called Sublime, and I haven't used every shade in this yet, so I'm not ready to review it, so this is also staying out on the Vanity. All right, let's go ahead and shut my stash. Okay, let's grab some lip liners. So let me see, what is this one from NYX? This is Nude Truffle, so I like having a nice neutral one. Yeah, I'll pull that one. And then something more warm toned. Let's go for this one from ColourPop. This is the shade Field Day. Yeah, perfect. I really want to pull out some of these other pinks, but I am panning a pink lip liner and I'm not letting myself even touch these other ones until I finish that other one. <laughs> It'll be nice when I finish it and I can use more of my collection. All right, moving on to the next thing. Okay, we're over in my foundation drawer. I don't want to pull out, um, I think more than just one because I'm really trying to focus on my project pan one. So something just sheer, something every day. Um, let's go for this one from Bare Minerals. This is the Complexion Rescue. I use the shade Opal. Okay, here we are in the highlighter drawer. I skipped bronzer because I have a feeling that I'm just gonna want to use my project pan bronzer and I might have another one pulled in in a face palette. So we're skipping single bronzers, moving straight on to highlighters. What highlighters do I want to pull out? I think I want to pull out this one, this one hiding in the back, from Bobbi Brown. This is just a little mini of um, Pink Glow. I've been finding that I do enjoy a pink highlighter, so give it a little swatchy swatch. Very pretty. Yeah, that would be very, very nice. Also, I think this one from RMS. I don't think they have other shades at the moment. I think it's just this one. This is an interesting formula. It doesn't always pick up super well on a brush, um, but it's the most beautiful glass-like shine. But it's not too intense. I feel like it's meant for dusting more than just your cheekbones to give like all over a glow, pretty much. It's just such a pretty highlighter that doesn't enhance te texture. So yeah, excited to use that one. And maybe I should pull something peachy since I've been trying to, I don't know, think maybe some peachy tones this month. So let's pull this one from Clinique. This is Lunar Pop and it's not super peachy, but just in comparison to like a true champagne highlighter, it does come off kind of peachy. And that's another one that just isn't too um, crazy. So yeah, I think I'll enjoy pulling those. I don't think I need to pull a highlighter palette right now because I do have a face palette I want to pull. So let's go ahead and move, go on to a different drawer. Okay, here we are in blush. Oh, actually, I'm going to pull this out a little bit more. Okay, so I like to pull blushes from different color families. So I know I want to pull a cool toned blush, and I really should pull this one while the weather is still pretty chilly. So this is a um, discontinued special edition shade from Sydney Grace, and it is very, very purple. I think the shade is called Majestic. Nope, I'm wrong. This is the shade Stiletto. But I absolutely love wearing this blush during the cold weather. So I do try to pull it out regularly during this time of year. Considering spring is on its way, I'm gonna pull it out again. All right, now I want something that is truly pink. 
something pinky pink. So I've got a few options. I haven't pulled this one out for a while from Neutrogena. This is the Healthy Skin Blush in the shade Rosy. I had this in a project pan last year and got a really good amount of use on it, which I hopefully you can see that there. But I haven't used it since then, I think. So yeah, time to pull this out. I do enjoy this one. All right, for something rosy, what do I want to wear? I'm thinking this one from Revlon. This is the powder blush in the shade Apricute, and I think the formula is so nice and silky. So pretty. Yeah, that'll be good. And I realize I didn't swatch the Neutrogena one. Let me quick do that. So you can see it's a light pink. The dog is fine. She whines when she wants the cat's attention sometimes. So sorry if you could hear her whining in the background there. All right, something a little coral leaning. Let's do my, my puff paint from Natasha Denona. I really like this formula. This is the shade Daria. And it is a beautiful liquid blush. So pretty. All right, something peachy. I've been kind of craving this one from Glossier. This is the shade Beam. Ooh. Those blushes always go so, so far. So pretty though. All right, something neutral. I've been thinking about this one from Flower Beauty. I really need to use it again and see if I still love it as much as I used to. It's getting pretty old in my collection and I also need to test it, make sure everything is A-OK, -okay, which so far it seems to be. It doesn't smell funky and it still looks really good. So I'll be excited to pull that. Let's see, let's do another neutral blush. Which one do I want right now? Let's see. Oh yeah, let's pull out this one from Cure Weiss. I've got it in this little Makeup Geek compact, but this is one of my favorites to pull out in the winter. Inner Glow. This is a taupey, glowy blush. Oh, love it. I feel like I want one more rosy toned blush. Let's pull out this one from M Cosmetics. This is a beautiful blush. This is what they call the Heaven's Glow Blush in the shade Venetian Rose. And it is a beautiful baked, glowy baked formula. Oh, delightful. All right, I feel like if I want more blushes, I can come back and get them, but I am feeling like I am gonna be pulling out some blushes in my face palettes. So let's move on over there. Actually, I changed my mind. I realized there's a couple categories where I did not grab a shade. <laughs> so I always like to have a super reddish, bricky toned color. Um, I'm gonna grab this one from Undone Beauty. This is the shade Rosewood. These types of shades are always so good. And then something more berry-ish. I haven't used this one from Bare Minerals in a super long time. At least I don't think I have. This is the shade Mauve Sunrise from the Bounce and Blur formula. And it's still nice and soft and squishy, but that is definitely more berry on me. So yeah, we'll pull that one too. Okay, so here we have some of my eyeshadow palettes as well as my cheek palettes. So like I said, I don't want to pull out too much eyeshadow. I'm truly, really trying to use a lot of my single eyeshadows right now, and I just didn't get to all the palettes I had pulled out last time. So I'm just going to pull out one, I think. Um, this one from Tarte, the Tarte Lit and Bloom. I haven't used this one in quite a while. It has great shades I could use every day, and I'm looking forward to using this. I do think it has a nice formula. Okay, the blush palette I was thinking of pulling out, well, it's not just a blush palette. It's got other things in it too, but my Hourglass palette. I had this out on my vanity for months after I purchased it just so that I could use the powders. I decided to put it away just so I could try and get some use out of my other products, but I'm ready to pull this out again and I really want to try and focus on using the blushes. So this is the one that originally had the jellyfish packaging, I think, and I customized to get the snake packaging because I love the snake. <laughs> My 13 year old daughter always calls snakes, snacks, and now yeah, here I am doing it too. <laughs> but the blushes in here are Rose Fusion and then Diffused Heat, and the bronzer is Lunar Bronze, which I find the bronzer to actually be a bit warm on me, but I, if I'm light-handed, I can pull it off. Then I use this powder under my eyes. I really enjoy the highlighter, and then this is like the diffusing powder that I use all over my face. So I'm really looking forward to pulling this out again. This was a special treat that I bought for myself last year, and I basically just want to get a lot of use out of it all the time. So yeah, very interested to pull this out this month. All right, moving on to lips. Okay, before we move on to glosses, I'm going to show you these two lipsticks that I went and grabbed out of my little lipstick tower. So this one's from Revlon. This is the Discontinued Shine uh, formula in the shade Sparkling Honey. 
I love this. I do think they were a bit ahead of their time because they discontinued this and then this type of shiny, balmy formula got wildly popular. <laughs> but anyway, love that. So I'm gonna pull this one as well as this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade Cezanne Nude, which I find to be a very flattering nude on myself. So I'm looking forward to using those. I've been thinking about this product lately from M Cosmetics. This is the, oh gosh, it's already worn off, but I think it's called the Everglass Lip Dew, something like that. Oh, here's it on the bottom so I can see it. Everglass Lip Dew in the shade Dream. I wasn't super impressed with this formula. This is one of those products that I kind of want to finish up before it goes bad. It just wears off really quickly, but the shade is really nice, so I don't really mind reapplying constantly if I'm just at home, you know? And it does have a very pretty shine on it. Let's also pull out this Dose of Colors lip gloss, one of my oldest lip products. This is the shade Almond Butter. Very pretty. I'm trying not to pick any pink glosses because I'm panning a pink gloss right now. Let's take this Maybelline Vinyl Ink. This is the shade Peachy. It should go along pretty well with all the pink or the peachy makeup I was picking. I wasn't totally sold on this formula compared to so many other people who loved it, but I have found that I do enjoy it once I get past the fact that it never fully dries down. It stays slightly sticky the whole time, which is fine. It's okay. So anyway, I'm gonna pull that. Maybe something a little brighter pink. This one from Clinique. This is the Chubby Stick in the shade Super Strawberry. I love the sheer Chubby Stick formula. Yeah, that's different enough from my gloss that I'm panning, so that would be very nice. I don't know if I actually have anything super cool pulled, so I'm gonna pull my Clinique Black Honey. I probably don't need to swatch it, but I will, <laughs> just in case you're wondering what it looks like on my skin. And then maybe a stain. Let's do this one from e.l.f. This is called Basic Beige, and it's not beige. <laughs> it's kind of pink, but it is pretty. All right. I think that's it for lip products. And I do believe that means I'm done shopping my stash. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of the video, it means you get to hear about my tea of the day. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to share because I'd like to share good teas that make me happy, but I was trying a new tea today and I really don't like it. It sounds delicious. This is Vanilla Honey Pear from Nelson Teas. I kind of shy away from teas that feature fruity flavors like pear. I feel like these don't translate very well. Uh, this one is definitely one of those. Ooh, I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support on my channel, and I will see you again very soon in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.